Hi, Jonathan Pickup. This is to BIM or not to BIM. These are non-BIM objects, they're just extrusions, and these ones are BIM objects which we can export with our IFC data and give to a consultant. So there's a big difference between these. Let's get started and let's see how we create them. If you like these movies, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. It really helps other people to find my movies. And if you want to, click the subscribe and also hit the bell so that you get notified when I post a new movie. So here's the project. We've got the ability to create either columns or extrusions to create the columns for a project. I'm trying to build a pergola. Now my belief is that we should use BIM objects. The title of this is to BIM or not to BIM and I really think we need to use the BIM capacities. This is a framing member and Vectorworks allows me to count these up really easily. Let's have a look. I've got a worksheet already set up here. Let's open this and it will count up really easily all of my columns. It won't count up extrusions, although I could assign them to a class and I could count the volume of these extrusions, but it's just not as easy as this. This will actually generate a total list of all of these objects. So I'm going to look at these uh, in this way. So let's get rid of that. We'll get started by creating some of the information. So let's get started. I've got a column. I'm going to use my mirror tool to, to mirror that column. So we've got two of those. Use my command shift key to get those two. So I've got my four columns. So one of the things I do find is that when I'm not using BIM, it's so much quicker to model. So I'm going to turn off that option there. If you don't, it becomes a little tricky. So I'm going to create my beam. There it is there, 240 millimeters or 250 millimeters. Enter and that creates it. I can make the width and then I can copy that across using my move by points tool. So from there across to there, I only want one of those. So I've got those two and then I can create my beams on top. So here we are, I'm going to use this again. I'm going to find that face. So from there, this face over here and I want that to be. So this is just 140 this time. Cool. And I can extrude that across and that's 45 and I've got that there and then I can duplicate those along. I just need to move it along a little bit. I use my move by points again. This time I'll just move it. So from there to there, that's cool. Then I need about 21 copies. So we'll do the offset, do the 21 copies from this corner here down to that corner there. And it's really quick to model. Now, which is great. But what it doesn't give us is much information. So trying to count these is really difficult. If I create a report, so I'm going to go reports, create report. I'm going to look for extrusions. OK, so I can look for extrusions. It can count them all up for me. But what can it give me? It can't give me the extrusion size. It can't give me any information about those. So I'm left with doing things like what sort of functions have I got? Can I get the depth, the length? So let's, we could choose the area maybe, the angle, then we certainly count them, so let's count some. We're going to look for the depth, look for the height, and let's go OK and see what we get. So it does find these objects like that. And I could then go here and I could say, OK, let's, uh, let's find all the ones that are the same type. So let's summarize those items. And then it summarizes these as well. And so it then tells me how many I've got of each sort. Count, 4, 2, 22 of that one. And so it does give those to me. And I guess I could then create the overall length. Now the trouble is, depends on which way you do the extrusion. So that's not bad. Now let's see what we do with this. these objects over here. So we've got here a beam. I'm going to use my mirror tool to find the center of that. So put a beam there. Let's find that column there. I'm going to use the mirror tool again. Center. I'm just going to select both of those. Use my mirror tool again. I can find the center there. So what if, how are we getting on? We're getting on pretty well. We've got those bits there. And let's use our 
select this again here and let's use our move by points tool again we're going to copy the same number we're going to go from that corner down to about here and it gives us the objects so you can see it's kind of similar that we've ended up with the same kind of thing but now let's have a look at my tools so I've got here my worksheet untitled 2 here it is here so this is my worksheet that I've created and it looks for these objects finds the span now because these are framing member and column objects it always finds the right number of columns or the right number of framing members so for example if we recalculate you can see I've still got 2 and 22 similar to the extrusion but it also gives me the total length very easily so let's have a look so I'm going to create another piece of timber here I'm going to change this and make it 90 and when I do that and I recalculate I end up with a new one 90 by 45 and it gives me the length of that so it gives you the sizes and the total lengths of each of the different sizes you've got now this makes it really quick to go out and get and order the timber that you need to do this particular project so to me it's got to be BIM